Welcome to Podcast 1-3, Formulas. In this lesson, you are required to memorize three coordinate formulas based on two points. So, the first formula, the slope formula. Difference of y's divided by difference of x's. The midpoint formula. The average of the x's, the average of the y's. And the distance formula, that ridiculous mess. Actually based on the Pythagorean theorem, which we learn about another day. The question is, can you use those formulas? Given two points, can you find the slope? And will you have an understanding that when you find the slope, you should have a sense of, is my slope correct? For example, this slope is a negative slope, so your answer should be negative. Or as in the midpoint of this segment, that is approximately here. Will your answer be in the neighborhood of the origin? If not, you should have a sense you've done something wrong. And how long do you think this segment is, the distance from A to B? Well, if this is negative 4 and this is 3, that's a length of 7, so this should be a little bit more than 7. Let's try to do it specifically. Given these coordinates, find the slope of the line. First off, a formula is needed. Put the numbers in the formula. That is, put the y and the y in these spots. 2 minus a negative 1 divided by and the x numbers in these spots. Negative 4 minus 3. Solve for that. This is, of course is plus. Gives us 3 over negative 7. Is that a reasonable answer? Does this appear to be negative 3, 7? Down 3 over 7? Negative 3, 7 is a reasonable answer. The midpoint formula. Of course, first, the formula is that. Let's put those numbers in these places. Take the x's, put them in here. That is negative 4 plus 3 divided by 2, comma, and then the y numbers placed in here. 2 plus a negative 1, excuse me, negative 1 divided by 2. And this is the coordinates of a point, parentheses with a comma. Simplify this, negative 1 divided by 2. Simplify this, positive 1 divided by 2. Is this a reasonable answer? Looking at the graph, negative 1 half, positive 1 half, that seems like a reasonable answer for the midpoint of these two points. And finally, the distance formula. Can you memorize the distance formula? So let's put these numbers in this formula. The x's here, that is parenthesis, negative 4 minus 3 squared plus sign the y values here, parenthesis, 2 minus a negative 1 squared. Let's not forget the radical sign. Simplify everything underneath the radical, square root of 58. And that should be approximately 7.6. Is 7.6 reasonable? The distance from here to here. Well, if the distance from negative 4 to 3 is 7, then 7.6 seems reasonable. This is Podcast 1-3 Formula.